Repeat tooling and production tooling are two efficient tools to carry out injection molding for various plastic molding parts, but they are valuable in different situations. Hello there, this is Sam from Repeat Direct. In today's video, I will be comparing the differences between repeat tooling and production tooling. I will examine parameters such as the material used, lifespan, and the volume of production they are ideal for. So follow me and explore it. First, let's explain what tooling is for in injection molding. Tooling is the foundation and the heart of injection molding. It is the most that the manufacturer inject the molten form of plastic materials to develop uh, parts and components. Basically, without tooling, injection molding technology is impossible to produce various shapes of plastic parts and products. What is repeat tooling? Repeat tooling, also called prototype tooling or bridge tooling, is a low-cost design mold used in the prototype stage. The most common materials used to make repeat molds are softer aluminum and cheap steel. Tooling with these materials considerably reduces the production cost and its lead time is also shorter than production tooling, which is about 10 business days. That's the reason why people call it prototype tooling. If you are planning to make low volume production at a favorable price, repeat tooling definitely would help you in saving time and cost. About its lifespan, generally speaking, the lifespan of the repeat mode is up to 10,000 shots. So if you are planning to make massive production, uh, repeat tooling is not your choice. However, repeat tooling also makes business more flexible as less the stock, less the risks. Next, how about production tooling? Production tooling, on the other hand, is a form of tooling that involves the use of high-quality materials. The main materials used for making production tooling are harder steels and nickel alloys. Its production time depends, sometimes as long as a few months and sometimes as short as 15 business days. Its lifespan is from 250,000 to a million shots. Production tooling is the most precise because it focuses on the final products and large-scale use. This also means that production tooling is more expensive than either prototyping or bridge tooling and therefore requires the most significant investment of both time and money. What's the difference between production tooling and prototype tooling? And what quality can I expect? These are the most often questions we get asked from our clients. The best answer begins with another question. What quality do you really need? And how many parts are you making? When choosing between repeat tooling and production tooling, always consider your production budget, time available, and desired product quality. If cost and speed of production is a priority, then consider repeat tooling. But if quality, high accuracy, and precision are your top priority, then production tooling is more ideal. The production for any product isn't easy. At Repeat Direct, we make your on-demand manufacturing easier, faster. We provide customers with the following injection molding production grades under 1,000 circles, under 5,000 circles, under 30,000 circles, and over 100,000 circles. Get contact with an expert and start your project today. Okay, we have come to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give us a like. If you have any questions, just leave your comments below. I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.